We're Adam and Joanne from InspiredTaste.net, and welcome to our kitchen. We're making our soft and chewy granola bars. Heat your oven to 350 degrees. Line the bottom and sides of an 8 inch or 9 inch square pan with foil. Then use a lightly oiled paper towel to oil the foil. Cooking spray will work as well. Measure out about a half cup of whole almonds, then give them a chop. It can be rough. Add them to a small baking sheet, then add two and a half cups of old-fashioned rolled oats. Spread them out in the pan, then bake for about five minutes. Stir, then bake another three to five minutes until they are lightly toasted. Transfer them to a large bowl. Grab a small saucepan. Combine a quarter cup of butter, one third cup of honey. By the way, by lightly oiling the measuring cup, the honey will easily come out. Add a quarter cup of lightly packed brown sugar, some vanilla extract, and a little salt. Place over medium heat and cook, stirring occasionally, until butter melts and the sugar completely dissolves. Pour the butter mixture into the bowl with toasted oats and almonds. Mix well, then let cool about five minutes. Add a half cup of cranberries and a quarter cup of mini chocolate chips. Stir to combine. The chocolate will most likely melt a little. This is fine. They turn into glue for the bars. Transfer everything to the lined pan, then use a rubber spatula, or you can use damp fingers to firmly press the mixture into the pan. Press hard here. This way the bars will stay together once cooled and cut. Scatter another two tablespoons of chocolate chips over the pressed granola mixture, and use a rubber spatula to gently press them into the top. Cover, then refrigerate for two hours. After two hours, remove the block of granola mixture from the pan and carefully peel away the aluminum foil. Cut into 12 bars and enjoy. You can store the bars in an airtight container for up to one week. 